Hello, I'm Jason Moore, aka Mr. Mr. Moore, and in this video, I'm talking about Fallout. On a Richter scale from 1 to 100 of excitement and anticipation, I'm currently hitting the 85 mark, and that's pretty good, considering there's no trailer, there's not even teasing. If this was a woman, you wouldn't even be seeing Toe. But you can't help but get a little bit excited when you think about the possibilities. I mean, look at Skyrim, for example. They greatly improved the graphics and the physics. And now we're talking about a new generation of hardware. They have 8 gigs of RAM to play about with. That's a lot of juice. But what I don't want to see reintroduced is the bugs. They are game breaking. So what could Fallout 4 learn from past experiences? Well, let's take the DC Wasteland for an example. It offered a perfect blend of isolation combined with exploration. It filled the player with so many emotions, other games can't even contend. You're watching this <laughs> That is a great feature that makes Fallout feel original, but now they're working on a new piece of hardware they surely must improve the first person shooter experience because sometimes it doesn't even feel responsive and dare I say it, crap. Ah! Heroic or evil, good or bad, a player's actions must have rewards and repercussions, and the Fallout universe demonstrates this better than any other game I've played, and they could greatly expand on this. But what I must mention now will upset a few people. I do not want to see any online capabilities, no co-op, no features whatsoever that make people unite. It is a solo experience. It's about being a wastelander. Mm -hmm. 